Today, I'm going to talk about breakfast rolls. People in Dublin began to leave the inner city based on the promise of a new middle class life in the suburbs. Looking further afield for a quiet life in... Frankie, don't say it. It's not funny anymore. No, I'm going to say it. Looking for a quiet life in Kimmage. As a result of this urban decay, people were commuting longer distances, so a huge amount of their time was spent in cars, listening to the Adrian Kennedy phone show in a desperate attempt to avoid being alone with their own terrifying thoughts. The car itself became an experience of the everyday worker. This created a breakfast roll shaped hole in the collective consciousness. The breakfast roll became a staple of the Irish people due to the inherent qualities it shared with its culture. Messy, excessive, convenient, and would lead to an eventual and inevitable heart attack. The breakfast roll usually contains butter, ketchup, sausages, rashers, eggs, black and white pudding, and sometimes hash browns. The unnecessarily overindulgent nature of the breakfast roll represents a subtle historical anger the Irish still feel over the famine. This is a sandwich of low self-esteem, a fear-based breakfast item. We'll eat now in case we never get to eat again. This breakfast option is trying to show the world how far we've come since we were colonized. The breakfast roll tries to prove to the rest of the world that it doesn't need to feel sorry for us anymore. We have to eat breakfast rolls together or die separately. We mustn't be stopped by people who tell us, Jesus, you eat one of those every day. Remember, we're not eating them because we like them. We eat to remember. We eat so we don't have to forget our past. We eat to watch the spirits of the ancestors come alive and say, there's too much ketchup in that. Weaponize the breakfast roll and use it as a symbol of Irish freedom like our forefathers intended. We need to awaken ourselves to the true power of the breakfast roll. Namaste.